everybody welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna try my very best to talk a little bit louder today because I have the air conditioner blowing and it's right underneath this the microphone but it's 90 degrees and my car is so hot so I've got to have the AC fan turned up high so I can um, cool it down as soon as possible Anyway, I'm doing fine, and I hope all of y'all are doing well also. I went by the auto parts store yesterday and bought this song. I have used this before. It's made by Rizlon, and it's a high-performance oil treatment. I think the one that I bought, though, was in a plastic bottle, and it was clear, and it was like a little like honey. It says Rizlon oil treatment is a high viscosity formula developed for higher mileage engines to increase oil film thickness and oil pressure. Cushions and coats engine parts to reduce friction. Increase oil pressure equals increased power and a quieter running engine. Improved formula performs better in both hot and cold weather. Uh, bring engine up to normal operating temperature. Hmm, I didn't know that. I think I've just been putting it in when the uh, engine is cold. Add entire can of Rizlon oil treatment to engine crankcase. For badly worn engines, use two cans. It says it can be used anytime at or between oil changes. I just had the oil changed a few days ago. If I had thought about it, I would have bought it before then and had them put it in. But um, the oil, my car uses a lot of oil, so it won't be long until it needs a quart. How many ounces are in a quart? I can't remember. I don't think this, oh, well, I've got a quart of oil. Let me look and see. Oh, this doesn't even say ounces. It's got a uh, 946 milliliters. Okay, y'all mathematics out there, do the math for me and let me know. Is it 32 ounces in a quart? Yeah, this is about a half a quart, I think. It's 15 ounces. This is pretty heavy. <clears throat> so I've got this. I still have some in the big gallon that Karen sent me, but I wanted to have this on hand in case I I like to keep a cord in my car in case I get someplace and I realize that it's slow. I'll have it with me. The gallons that she sent me, I'm on the last gallon. There's probably about a quart left in it. Uh, I keep them inside the foyer. But I'm doing well. I wanted to walk over there and take a video of the chickens. It's been a while since we've checked them out and see how they're doing, but I'm sure they're fine. I hear the rooster crowing. <laughs> all the time but I wanted to ask y'all if any of you have heard from Deborah Joy I'm really worried about her um, I will link her last video in the description box below and let y'all see the last video that she made which was December the 29th of last year so we're going on the end of July will be seven months since anybody's heard from her um, she has a friend that has a YouTube channel. Her name is Vagabond Mango. I haven't looked at her channel in the last few weeks, but I did look about a month ago to see if she had anything to say about Deborah Joy. But I didn't, she hardly ever makes videos. You know, I just didn't see anything on her channel. So I don't know if Deborah Joy is still friends with Caravan Carolyn or not, but. If you see my video, um, Carolyn, and can answer my question, I, I would appreciate it. I don't have her address anymore, or I've never had her phone number or her email. So my phone shut off because it got too hot up there <laughs> uh, on the phone holder, which is right in the sun. Yeah, it's been a long, it's been about seven months since she has put up a video. Now, I know she cut back on her on her filming because she wanted to um, get back on 
California Medicaid and, and food stamps because she's better off that way, you know, than bringing in one or two hundred dollars a month on, on YouTube and that putting her over the poverty level to where she didn't qualify for any assistance. So, But anyway, I'm concerned about her, so I just wanted to ask y'all if any of you have any way to contact her, if you have her email or her physical address where she can be contacted just to see if she's okay because I'm worried about her. I know many of my subscribers have been following me ever since Deborah Joy gave me a shout out about six years ago and thank you so much for coming over here and for watching my videos and my content and for subscribing to my channel and thank you for staying with me all this time so if any of y'all are in contact with her in, in any way please let me know because I am concerned about her uh, Deborah Joy is the reason that I have this successful YouTube channel that I have today because she gave me a shout out when I was struggling and just getting started and she's the reason that I got my um, met all of my YouTube requirements in order to monetize my channel so thank you Deborah Joy if you still watch me I hope that you do well you can see the beautiful roses here behind me anyway I wanted to go over and, and videotape the chickens this morning but it's already 90 degrees and I just don't want to be out there walking in this heat uh, the humidity is not too high it, it's not unbearable but it's difficult but anyway um, that's mainly what I wanted to get on here and talk about today was whether or not y'all have heard from Deborah Joy and let's just continue to pray for her and I uh, hope hope and prayers for for Deborah Joy that she's okay and I hope that she will come back to YouTube because I just I love listening to her she's so funny and she's fun to watch when she's in the kitchen cooking too but anyway, that's just going to be it for today. I'm kind of sleepy. The neighbors woke me up this morning about 5.15 playing music. They don't normally play music, so this was unusual. Um, now, the volleyball games don't bother me. I guess I've adjusted to it, and they're fairly quiet. I mean, I do hear the, the ball bouncing, and I'll hear a scream every now and then. But it's when... Um, you know, they play the music. So it was like when I peeked out the window, there were like just some scragglers hanging around on the court talking. And I guess they had a, a radio on or one of the phones playing music. And I'm trying not to complain. I've lived here over three years and I have not complained about them yet. And I hope that I don't have to. But if, if they continue to wake me up where I can't um, function the next day very well, and I will have no choice but to either go over and talk to them or to call the police. But I try to be a good neighbor and, and keep to myself. So I hope everybody is doing well. It's always so good to see y'all's comments and to know that you're still here and you're still doing well. And for those who have asked for prayer, um, and even for those who have not asked for prayer, and I can sense that you need it, just know that I am thinking about you and I'm praying for you. All you are important to me. So y'all please give me a thumbs up and share. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and become a part of our YouTube family here um, at Glenda Sully. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye.